Imagine life without the internet. Impossible. Amazon, Facebook and all the others can read us like a book. Nobody knows us better. The more our lives go online, the more information these companies gather about us and our preferences. Data about users is one of their key assets. What do they do with the data? How can we protect personal info? These are the questions I put to Viviana Reding, an MEP and former member of the European Commission. They would have us believe that what they offer us is all free, but none of it is free. We pay with our data. A couple of examples regarding Facebook. After 68 likes, it knows your political orientation or the things you enjoy in life. After 150 likes, Facebook knows you better than your parents do. And after 300 likes, Facebook knows more about a person than his or her partner does. We're now truly transparent. What should our politicians do about it. A lot has to go wrong before the politicians start to act. There's a kind of time lag in our society in this respect. On the one hand, the data industry speeds ahead, and on the other hand, it takes a long time in our democracies to pass legislation to tackle the problem. Viviana Reding can be patient, or rather tenacious. She proposed tough new data protection rules. It took years to get them through the European Parliament. The EU General Data Protection Regulation will finally go into effect in May. Did you have to fight hard? I imagine there's a major conflict of interest between businesses and governments. This is about billions in revenue. If you can rake it in worldwide with impunity, that's much easier than if you have to abide by rules. That's why there's so much lobbying, especially on the part of the big American companies and the U.S. government. I had to dig in. It was very hard. I met resistance from all quarters, but the European Parliament was on my side. So the EU is beefing up data protection. People will be able to find out what data are being stored by whom and to what end, and have the data deleted more easily. The rules also apply to US companies operating in Europe, and there will be heavy fines for infractions. Up to 4% of annual global turnover. That can amount to hundreds of millions in fines for Internet companies. Is there anything distinctive about the European approach to data protection? What does Europe need? What we do not want is protectionism or barriers. We want data to flow freely. Research also has to be free, but within limits. And those limits mean respecting the confidentiality of every individual's personal data. You can find Viviana Reding on social media, but she doesn't share anything personal. Her official Facebook page as a member of the European Parliament is a means to communicate with the public about issues. On the personal side, photos of her dog is about as private as it gets. The more the internet determines our lives, the more pressing the question of who determines what's acceptable and what's off limits in the virtual world. Big issues, to which governments and companies will have to offer big solutions.